Hi, I'm Gabi Lehner and I'm a Senior Program Manager with Azure Data Explorer team. Today I will show you in this video how to visualize data hosted in Azure Data Explorer and build Grafana dashboards on top of it. This page is very useful and takes you through the entire process, starting with the prerequisites and what kind of installations you need to do. Later on, it shows you how to configure a data source and it also gives you some guidelines on building dashboards in Grafana once you have your own data source. So first thing you need to do is download Grafana and install it on the OS that you're running. You have two options of using Grafana. You can either use hosted Grafana in the cloud or you can use a uh, local Grafana and this is the option I chose for this video. So for running local Grafana, you need to install it on your local machine. So once that is done, next thing you need to do is deploy your own Azure Data Explorer plugin. And again, you have in the doc a link to this page that contains the latest version of Azure Data Explorer plugin. And once you install it, you can open your Grafana client. Opening Grafana client um, is done by connecting through localhost port 8080. And once you're using Grafana client, you can go and create your first data source in the configuration area. I'm selecting data sources, then I'm adding a new data source. I need to select Azure Data Explorer data source. And then I'm forwarded to this page that requires all the properties for creating that data source. So first we enter the data source name. Since I will be using GitHub data, I'll name the data source GitHub demo. Next, uh, we are, I already selected the data source type. It's uh, Azure Data Explorer data source. Then the cluster URL. If you don't have the cluster URL, you can go to Custo Explorer, for example. I'm using Demo 11 cluster, so I can right-click the cluster, select Edit Connection, and copy the URL. Tenant ID is uh, also a property that you need to have. Then we get to client ID. Um, you need to create an AD app and you need to provide the client ID for that app and the client secret. So let's go to Azure portal, to Azure Active Directory, select app registration preview, which will take us to this blade. I'll create a new app. So I'll give it a name, git hub demo app, I'll register it, it takes a few seconds, and once it is done, I can take, take the client ID. You can copy it from here, the application ID. Next thing I need to do is to provide this uh, AD application viewer privileges uh, to my database and to my cluster. So I'm adding the AD um, client ID here. App equals client ID. I'm running this command. And once the principal is added to GitHub uh, database, I can go back here, put the client ID also here. I need to create a secret, so I go to certificates and secrets. I create a new client secret, so you can create your own and you can decide what duration you would like it to have. And then go back here, put the client secret here. And in case you need 
uh, lower refresh period, uh, um, shorter than 30 seconds, you need to change the default here. If not, then you can go and just save the data source and, and then you can create a dashboard using it. So now that I have my data source ready, I can go and create my first dashboard. I'll start with a graph chart and I'll go and edit it. I'll select the GitHub demo data source and I'll start with the first query. Um, you, sh you start with the, with the table name, which is GitHub event, and you see that you have the IntelliSense that helps complete the query. I want to uh, see a bar chart um, with the number of uh, events, so I'll do count on the ID of the events, and I split it by um, bin, by time, the time that it was created, I'll bin it to 30 days, and by the type of the event, and sort it by the count of IDs in a descending order. Now I can run it. And what I see is that I don't have data points in the time range. Since Grafana usually starts with the default of last six hours. My data goes back a few years, so I'll select last two years. And since I want to see the data as bar charts, I need to go to axis and change the x-axis mode from time to series. So now I have the bar charts and the number of events per type sorted from the largest to the smallest. I'll save it. I'll call, I'll call that uh, GitHub event count by type. Save it. The dashboard is saved. Um, one thing I forgot would be to change the name, the panel name. Okay, save again and go back to the dashboard and I have my first chart. Now I'll create a second chart, again adding a new graph panel and go and edit it. Select GitHub demo data source and write a new KQL query. This time I'm starting from GitHub event table once again. I want to show all events that were related to Microsoft repositories. So I'll filter by the repository name. The repo column is a JSON file. So I'm, ex I'm extracting only the name in query time. And if it contains Microsoft, I want to group all events, group all events, count them like in the previous query by being created at 30 days. Running my query, I see the result. Change the panel name, call it Microsoft Repo Event Count 
or more accurately monthly event count save it go back to the dashboard and I have my first Grafana dashboard powered by Azure Data Explorer and it was quite simple quite easy um, please send us any feedback any comments that you have in the comments below thank you